Goeiedag, South Afrikaners, goeienaand. Um, good day, South Africans, good evening. Today was supposed to be a celebration of human rights. Not so. Rather, I think today is a cry and tears of a beloved country for many. A very sad day indeed for many South Africans. My address today in this video will be mixed with Afrikaans and English and as to speak to the president and the pharmacist of Africa directly and indirectly, please forgive me in advance for any mistakes that I might make in this address. Um, today we need to state it clear and once and for all. We had enough. Vandaag sê ons leidkeels, ons het genoeg gehad. Ons is keel vol verby. Ons het genoeg gehad van terrorisme op plaase en genoeg gehad van economische terrorisme wens verskille agendas. We had enough of terrorist attacks on farms and economic sabotage and hidden agendas. August 21, 2018, I sent a written notification to President Ramaphosa who was in denial about terrorist farm attacks and yet still is in denial. With a serious note of intent, Dear President Ramaphosa, take heed of our stance as South Africans regarding your intention to amend Section 25 of the Constitution. We totally agree that land should be made available and that all citizens must have title deeds, whom so wish. But taking urban properties and farms paid for just without compensation can't be right. It can't be justified on an ethical basis, neither on the principle of 49 treaties and international obligations signed by South Africa. I then warned President Ramaphosa of an imminent, unstoppable train that is coming. And should he continue in his actions against the very needed farmers, land and food security, that he would be standing right in front of this oncoming train, which will not stop. Mr. and Honorable President Ramaphosa, please take, take note once again that the trend of disgruntled South Africans, and rightly so back with international disdain, are here in full steam. We saw that today in marches all over the country. The trend of resistance will persist until we succeed as South Africa, as, as it will come our way and your way. So we will su succeed come what may come, however it may come, but we will succeed. Middenberg is in 1918 wordt een van die mooiste gedichte geskryf die sê in Langenhoven. Die gedicht het gehandel oor die wel en weer van bloed en zweet om die land van te bou en voedselsekerheid te vestig. Wat is allemaal vandaag geniet? Van, op -offer, van opofferings wat gemaakt was in die aangezicht van dood en leven en die aangezicht van hartseer en blijmoedigheid van die pad van die boer in die land was en is niet altijd makkelijk nie. Dit is niet altijd maanskyn en roose nie. Mede burgers en boere, maar dis wie ons is, in die merg van ons gebeente, in die hart en siel en gees, in ons roem en op ons verlede, in ons hoop of wat sal wees, in ons wil en werk en wandel, van ons wieg tot aan ons graf, Deel geen aan die land ons liefde en trek geen aan de trouw ons af. As disgruntled South Africans, we will persist until we succeed. Since 1994, South Africans were one of the greatest nations on this planet at the time. We have done what few or no other nation have been able to do with some success. Divisions that were entrenched in culture, policy, and daily life throughout many years were set aside in one sweep. Yet, what was started was quickly hampered to immediately start restoring 
racial division, poverty and hate to regain power by the likes of the ANC and Key. Their friends, SACP, EFF, etc. Much of the work of our generation or two ago is undone today and most Africans are either divided or simply not part of the system, part of being a full-blown citizen. Our wealth is given away and our dignity is trampled upon. If you walk into a store or drive on the road, it's obvious this place belongs to another nation, not a Zulu, not an Afrikaner, not a Nkosa, maybe China, not even any of the Koryo's son. We are still colonized and being colonized and racial division even more entrenched than ever before. President Ramaphosa, when you became president, many had hope and called it a new dawn. For most of the Africans, that dawn is gone. And so your dawn as president, just as your predecessor, Zuma, whose dawn is gone. President Ramaphosa, the terrorist mafia Totsi ANC and Key did something very wrong. You are currently acting like a bulldozer dictatorship, especially the top six. As a dictator, you are tearing apart our beloved country, constitution and legacy left behind by Nelson Mandela, who wanted you as president once, believe it or not. You are tearing this country apart by supporting terrorist hooligans with their chin uh, with the agent provocateurs and we cannot stand for that and neither for the capitalist communism too long have the communists such, this, such as the SACP in cahoots with China piggyback on the back of this government and were placed in key positions to, to, to destroy directly or indirectly the food basket of this country genoeg is genoeg ek herhaal Genoeg is genoeg. So take heed that as disgruntled South Africans, we will persist until we succeed. We succeed, we will. To bring change for, South, for better South Africa, for all who live in it as per our constitution. In the Orient of times, Young bulls were tested to fight in a certain manner. Each bull was brought to the ring and allowed to attack anyone who pricks them with a lance. The bravery of each bull was then rated with care according to the number of times it demonstrated its willingness to charge in spite of the sting of the blade. Henceforth, will we as Africans recognize that each day that we engage with this failed terrorist government that we are tested by life in the same way. If we persist, if we continue to try, if we continue to charge forward, then we will succeed. Net soos van tevore sal ons voeren toe beweeg en nie staan vir die satans kinders van terroristische communisme. Sê jy lang en hoofd het het so mooi verwoord. Hy het gesê, ons sal antwoord op jy roepstem. Ons sal offer wat jy vraag. Ons sal lewe, ons sal sterwe, ons vir jou, Suid-Afrika. We as Africans were not delivered unto this world in defeat. Nor does failure cause in our veins. We are not sheep waiting to be prodded by a shepherd. No, we are a lion. And we refuse to talk to walk to sleep with these thieves, terrorists, and capitalist communists. The slaughterhouse of failure is not our destiny, and neither that of our citizens. President Cyril Ramaphosa, ANC and Key, please take serious note. 
You need to secure our farmers and give them the needed financial support as to compete with the rest of the world. Imperative to treat farms as national key points as to safeguard our food security. And I'll repeat it. It's imperative to treat farms as national key points as to safeguard our food security. It is non-negotiable. Not at all. If you continue to allow the attacks on the farming community, then you must understand that the point of no return would occur, which should be avoided at all cost for the sake of all parties involved. Your silence, your silence and denial on the farm murders is not helping either. Let's be very clear on that. It's not helping. Please be reminded by Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery, also known as the Spartan General, serving as a senior British official who fought in the First and Second World War. He stated, Give me 20 divisions of American soldiers, soldiers, and I will breach Europe. Give me 15 consisting of Englishmen, and I will advance to the borders of Berlin. Give me two divisions of those marvelous fighting Boers, and I will remove Germany from the face of the earth. I'll repeat. Give me two divisions of those marvelous fighting Boers, and I will remove Germany from the face of the earth. President... Do not underestimate the above statement, and this is still true today. President Silver Maposa ANC in Key, let it be known, you are steering this country into war, and we will endeavor to stop it at all cost and remind you of innocent blood on your hands. Failure to deal with the terrorist attacks and economic sabotage through your actions will result in a declaration of resistance to unseat the current government through attempted democratic actions as far as humanly possible. South Africans have been lied to and have been deprived so many times. No more. We are disgusted with your constant denial of farm attacks, atrocities and killing by the terrorists when many times nothing was stolen, yet innocent people were tortured and butchered. Yet you failed to act. Mr. President, the following happened this year in June. 1st of June, a medical doctor, Rulof Buto, lived on Tilbach Farm, was stabbed to death with sheep shears by a group of terrorist attackers in a nearby nature reserve. 5 June, Peter Nell, 65, was shot in the leg and chest, and his wife, Anne, 61, sustained serious injuries, head injuries during a farm attack and home invasion by armed terrorists at Artepius Wirt. Eddie Neumeister, on the 6th of June, is 67 years old, the owner of Eddie's Bratwa Sausage Restaurant B&B in the KZ in Midlands, was hacked to death with a panga. He was ambushed outside of his office, dragged back, and then hacked to death with a panga by a single terrorist blackmail attacker who ran away. His fiancé managed to escape and ran to get help. June 6, an elderly couple, Skalk 63, and Lana Kutsia 59, was severely assaulted on a farm in the Northern Cape. Skalk was le left in critical condition. His terrorist attacker's black men poured boiling water on his back. Both Skalk and Lana had to undergo surgery afterwards. The 22nd of June, a farmer of Worcester, Ben Hugo, was beaten over the head and tied up during a robbery on his farm. Mr. Hugo was busy in his office when two terrorist black males attacked him. One attack hit Mr. Hugo over the head with a stone and he was tied up. Various items, including firearms, were robbed. Some attacks, some stuff gets stolen. Some farm attacks, nothing gets stolen and it's pure, pure torture. Sometimes for six hours or more. On the 25th of June, 2.20 in the morning, in a plot in Brits, five black th terrorist men with knives and pangas broke through a security gate to gain access to the house of Johan and his son Briet. Johan fought back, causing the attackers to flee. 
The same attackers also attempted an attack on the same house earlier. 25th of June, list of Gauteng, three armed black terrorist male attackers entered the home at 10 o'clock at night. The attack lasted six hours. Can you imagine being tortured for six hours? The residents, including a woman, were tied up and choked. The attack attackers ransacked the home and fled with two vehicles and trailer belonging to the residents, which were loaded with their furniture and fridge. 26th of June. At 7 o'clock, Lovedale Farm in Petersburg, Free State, the 50-year-old uh, 50 Mr. De Twe and his 82-year-old mother was severely assaulted, tied up and robbed of two cell phones and firearm by three terrorist black males. The victims, the victims had to be hospitalized. On 6 July, a 26-year-old pregnant kwazulu Natal woman had a throat slit during a home invasion at a farm in Vienna. Three terrorists inter entered the home and demanded money from the husband. The mother and the two small children are said to have rushed to the kitchen after hearing the shooting. Oh, sorry, the shouting. Apologies. The terrorists then held the husband and children at, at knife point. Can you imagine the, ter the terrorists held the husband and children at knife point before taking the woman into the bathroom. She was found inside the bathroom with a throat slit. She was certified dead at the scene, said police. Said the police. Captain Kuala said nothing was taken from the house. The children was unharmed, thank God, and the husband were treated in the hospital for injuries. This is very sad. This is wrong. On all scales. Mr. President, this is but a few examples, and there's many. This is too long. I will spend the whole time here speaking to you. No more denials, Mr. President. No more frock agendas. No more terrorist attacks. No more New World Orders and no more China. You have made your bed and your actions in henceforth will determine how that will be met. Your mistake is yours and yours alone. And if you believe that we are sitting, are sitting frocks except, except, accepting for you to heat up the pan, you're making a big mistake. It's a big mistake if you think that. Today, we symbolically draw the line. Genoeg is genoeg. Enough is enough. Our demands are clear. You, you act or we act as a nation. Currently, there is no political home for us and many millions more who want a progressive future without the baggage of the past. And many millions more wants a progressive future. And I, and I repeat, millions wants to have a progressive future. And not with the baggage of the past. We had enough of that. We had enough of finger pointing. We've resolute in the past to work together and that we all want a better country. Currently, race divisions and capitalist mafia cronies is at play. Thus, our answer to the calling of what we can do for our beloved country and continent as a whole. The progression action in the formation, we will persist until we succeed. We have already risen with the demands via the courts and will continue mass actions like we had today, like never before, with urgency and exposing this to all foreign nations with a plea for help. And behold, we have hearing ears. A reminder of a message from America from Pompeo is one clear example of such. We will not be turned into a communist state to satisfy your greed. We will take action. The country was, lo was looted with an elite under our feet by the ANC and Key. It seems the Ramaphosa euphoria 
was born from cancer in cancer. And it seems there are only self-interested people looking after family, friends and supporters. Prove us wrong. Please do. Please be warned once more. This train of, this train of resistance will persist until we as South Africans succeed, come what may. In Kosi Sekileli i Africa, let us live and strive for freedom in South Africa, our land. Thank you.